Hello, hello, hello. Nice to see you. Welcome to your weekly message during winter break. This weekly message for, is for the week of December 20th through December 24th. I really hope that you've had a great time and being able to really focus on some relaxation, maybe sleeping in, maybe watching some cool shows or doing some cool art projects. For these next two weeks, our weekly message is mostly just going to be focusing on making sure you're aware of the supports that you can find on our website. So I'm going to give you a couple little things that I'll show to you whenever we get to that point in this little message for you when I'm thinking about the weekly message. So one of the things that I do want to make sure that you know about is about our calming room. So I'm going to show you, I'm going to do a quick little screen share. And with that, I'm going to show you this. So you have, um, access to this. You've already, this is maybe where you're seeing this message. You have the St. Helens Virtual Academy Elementary Support. You've got the Google Meet and Storytime and Fun Activities link right here. Then you have the weekly messages. One thing I really want to make sure that you are aware of is this calming room. There's so many cool resources on this calming room. On this calming room, um, essentially, a, it's what's called a virtual calming room. And there's a little image of me, like, kind of in this funny little, like, in, um, totally want to call it emoji. I know that's not the right word, but there's a little image of me. So I was just going to show you some really cool things that are on here. One of my favorite things that is here is um, this image here. So uh, this website. So this is called the fluid simulation. If you're just sometimes just needing a moment just to like space out or doodle or do something to help yourself to refocus is you just get all on here. It's simulating. It's acting like fluid. So that's kind of a really cool thing to just sometimes just focus on or do any kind of meditation. That's a really neat thing that's on our calming room. Another thing that's on the calming room that I think is really adorable and I could look at for hours is our um, little cameras that are on different animals that are at the zoo. So if I click on here, we've got a puppy cam, being able to see some puppies hanging out in the, in a little, if I hit play here, you can see some, there's some puppies sleeping and that's a live cam on puppies. Oh, look at, it's almost like we just woke up the puppy just that they're in the background. So if you wanted to be able to see some live camera of puppies on screen. There's that one. That one's just so cute. Looks so adorable. Oh, little yawn. Um, there's also ones with elephant cam from the San Diego zoo. So if I went down here and kind of saw, we can see the elephants walking around at the San Diego zoo and you can, it's not as active at night. Um, but, um, you know, we'll see the elephants walking around and that is live footage. So that's one of my favorite things. And then again, to get back to the main room, you just can click right there. So that's our animals. There's also some areas where you can do some art projects. So if you, if you have a printer at home, you can click on here and there's some printable coloring pages. If you wanted to create some things online, um, this one's really cool. I really like this one. I'm going to X out our elephant cam here. So this one's really neat. If you wanted to draw something, so if you wanted to draw, it kind of does a mirror image. So I'm just dragging my mouse and just kind of walk, like being able to draw some kind of almost like it almost ends up like a creature. So you can undo, you can redo, you can do whatever you want, kind of to just like creating some images, which are really neat. And you can um, save your images. You can also change your color. You can change it to a different image. You can also change the way that you want to get that going. You can make kind of almost like a kaleidoscope that one can be really relaxing. Um, so that's a cool thing that you can also have on um, the calming room. And there's other things in the, if you're, again, a very artistic person, being able to just doodle and kind of move around, it's kind of a neat, you just hold down your mouse and um, kind of draw however you feel like, oop, just a little bit so, as you go. So those are some of the things that you can do in the um, in there. So 
those are just a couple of the things that are on here. There's puzzles that you can play. There's other, there's books that you can look at. There is um, some apps that you can download. There's some exercise ones, especially if you're trying to get some exercise. I strongly ingest that. <laughs> excuse me, I strongly suggest you doing one of these fun workouts. There's like beginner kids workout and all of those things. So I just wanted to make sure again, that you have an opportunity to get some access to some resources that are provided for you on the website. And it's a fun opportunity for you to just kind of space out or draw or exercise or any of those things. I just want to make sure you have that resource. This week, we are not going to do a joke of the week, but what we are, the guest that we have this week is going to be Harvey, who is my child. So Harvey is going to be showing some ways in order to do some crafts. So that's what you'll get this week, which you'll get towards the end of the video after we do our question of the week. So we'll have our question of the week and then we'll have our craft of the week hosted by Harvey. So here you go for your question of the week. All right. So today's question of the week is how did you get your name? What is the story of your name? So you could be your first name, a middle name, or a last name. If you'd like to come to our reading time this week on Monday from 3.30 to 4.30, I would love to hear the story of your name. Or you can come on Thursday, December 23rd from 11 to 12 when we have our story time and fun activities then. So yeah, what is the story of your name, your first name, your middle name, or your last name? So you might need to talk to a family member to see what the story is. So know that I asked my mom, what is the story of my first name? So my name is Mariah. And as you know already, if you've been watching any of my um, weekly updates or you've come to story time, so I miss Mariah. The way that I got my name is my mom, when she was 13 years old, she was very young, she watched a movie and that movie was called Paint Your Wagon. It was a very old movie, um, like came out about that time when my mom was 13 and she said, when I, oh, the thing about the movie is that there was a song in the movie and there was a character in the movie named Mariah. And she said when she was 13, she's like, if I ever have a daughter, I'm going to name her Mariah. And that's how I got my name is many, many years later, my mom had a baby girl. She had me and she named me Mariah after the movie and also the song they call the wind Mariah. So which is in that movie. That's how I got my name. How did you get your name? Let me know. Excited to hear you. Again, if you can't make it to the story time, you can also send me an email. I'd love to hear from you. Take care. <laughs>
just figure they're giving you an opportunity. And what grade are you in? Seventh. You're in seventh grade. Awesome. So I'm super excited that you're helping out this week. And um, I, Harvey just disappeared on went swimming at our lovely beach here in the background. <laughs> So, is there anything that we should know about you before we get started? I'm super cool. Okay. All right. Sounds like a plan. Um, great. Well, go ahead and start your star wreath. That was kind of awkward. That's perfect. Yeah. Uh -huh. And then we're just going to say, um, have a great winter break and hope to see you soon. Okay. Okay. All right. Have that's a, have a winter. What? That's my robe in the background. Wait, don't you usually have like a... I do. Oh. Hello. Today we will be making a star wreath. A star that you can turn into a, a wreath. Or a wreath you can turn into a star. Okay. To start, you want... To have a normal piece of paper or origami paper that both work. <clears throat> if you have normal paper, you want to take the first corner, bring it down till it makes a little pointy edge right here. And you have a triangle type shape. Make sure your creases are nicely aligned and tight. And then you want to cut this bottom part right here. You don't need this page anymore. And you want to unfold it. And you have a perfect square. For people with origami paper, you don't need to do that step. Next, you want to fold it in half, hamburger style. Unfold it. So take these two corners, bring them to the middle line. Kind of like you're making a paper airplane. And I usually leave a little space right here so it has room to fold. And remember, you don't have to have this perfectly sharp. Because then it always, it looks like that. Anyways, okay. So what you want to do now is you have this shape and you want to take this corner, bring it down to this corner. Until it makes kind of a parallelogram. And then turn it over, do the same thing, bring it down to there. And so you have a nice piece on both sides. Next, you're going to want to unfold it. And this part might be a little hard, but you want to bring this down. And then as you're bringing that down, you want to close this. And so this is down here, but then it makes the same shape. And so essentially it's just same shape, but the fold is folded in. And with that, you're going to want to make eight of those. I already have some prepared. And you can pause now if you want and um, make all eight. And then once you get to this point, you want to take one or take two, actually. And so you have this one. You want to grab one by this by the tip, and then you want to grab the other by the, the two tips, and then you want to bring it from the top and bring it down into the little area, and once you've gotten that, you want to fold these two in into this little area right here. Then you have your first fold. Next, you want to do that again. Make sure this 
this doesn't get caught underneath here or else it won't be able to slide. And then you just continue. Then you'll start to see it's taking shape. This is where the, it starts getting tricky. So here, you're gonna wanna place that there. And so it's in between the there. And then you wanna do the same thing that you've been, con and then continue to do that. And the last one, this one is very tricky because you have to connect. So you take this, put it in there like you, you have been doing instead of just putting it in there randomly you have to take this and place it in the area so it's kind of it always connects to the next one and then you want to avoid that and then there and there And then, oh, it, sometimes it can come out, and then you just have to place it back on. And there we go. We have a star wreath. First time you, um, er, the way to also change it into a star is by pushing the sides. Oh. Until... They actually connect until you get a star. Oh, as you can see right here, it came loose. And so you just want to tuck it right back in. Oh, here too. Yeah. And at first you might want to put it underneath a book so all the creases are flattened and so it doesn't come come out as easy and yeah. All right. Well, thank you so much, Harvey, for taking the time out of your winter break and showing some of the students at the St. Helens Virtual Academy how to make a star wreath. I appreciate you. And I hope that all of you have a great break, had a chance to do a little bit of craft with Harvey and enjoy. Anything else you want to share? No, we're all Same good. Solved. Awesome. Good. Well, have a great break and hopefully see you next time. Mm -hmm.